Welcome to Edmonton, Alberta, the home of the Oilers. Yes, once the city of champions, and they're ready to do that once again. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Coyotes take possession to get this one underway. Arizona's looking to break out. Moves it to Schmaltz. Receives the pass. That's blocked by Skinner. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Keller's great at making accurate passes, guys. That's his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability, and that's what helps him create scoring chances. McDavid's known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. Taken by Bouchard. They've got numbers here. Quick pass to McDavid. Way too much congestion blocks that. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Dreisaitl speeds effective at distributing the puck, and his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability allows him to make accurate passes to set up chances, and that's why his teammates love playing with him so much, guys. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. Michelli's got it along the wing. And it's a quick pass to Keller. Look at this! Across the line! Moves it quickly over to Michelli. Arizona's moving it up the ice. Quick feed to Schmaltz. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Skinner's been showing more confidence in this game with that nice save. I mean, it was a tough one the other night when he got blown out. Huge save right there to give him some confidence. Here's a short pass to Gunther. Turned aside with a glove by Skinner. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Kane. Scooped up along the wall by Brown. Shot! Plus save by the goalie. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Oilers win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Arizona's regained possession of the puck. Look out. Here they come on the attack. Arizona's got it now. They score! And a quick goal here in the first by the road team has changed the momentum quickly. Well, yeah, a quick goal, quick strike, and that's exactly what you want to do when you're on the road. You want to set the tone early. You want to take the life out of the fans. aggressive start has resulted in the game's first goal. Look at this one, Cheryl. Yeah, and it's impressive, the entire start by this team. They knew that they had to come into this barn and be ready to play because when you're the away team, not only are you the underdog, but you need to take advantage when you get it. And execution, that's the name of the game. That's why they get the first goal. Tries to get the puck over to Hayden. Kraus plays it against the boards. Shuts it down! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Arizona's been the busier team offensively, and they lead early in this one. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Eckholm stick handling in his own zone. Puck picked up by Kraus. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. And sends it just out of reach. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Arizona's up one zip. Hayden's won the draw there on the attack. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Eckholm's loving the puck. Good heads up play to bat it down. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Quick pass to Fogel. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. They really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, James, let's have a look at this goal again. I mean, it's just a desperation. 
Revolution play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you gotta out battle, you gotta out will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. McDavid's one possession. Jersey. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Bouchard. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Back at the point, they set it up. And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it, and he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. The Coyotes are making the most of their opportunities here in this opening frame with the early lead. Yeah, it's been back and forth play here, and they've competed. James has been a good game, but now they get the go-ahead goal so they can play with more confidence. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. The Coyotes look to start the transition game. Quick feed to Schultz. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Stopped by the goaltender. To the low side. Redirected off a stick. Tries to get the puck to Hyman. Here they come on the attack. Nugent Hopkins has it in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Now a quick pass to Nurse. Makes the glove stop. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. More than half the period left to play. The Coyotes are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. And a solid save on the play there. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Setters get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Arizona's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck. Edmonton's crossed the line and on the attack. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins. And that goes off a player. Hammers it on net. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he takes a shot. What a chance, but can't finish. Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. message to your opponent early in the game and that early delivery of a bone crushing hit that does just that Arizona's got it in their own zone fires it on net makes the save sends it out in front and that's blocked in front the Oilers scoop it up along the boards chance in front and that's stopped Arizona's got the puck in their own end and now it's grabbed by Stetcher. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Arizona's got the puck along the wall. And he makes the save. And he slides it quickly to Bumstad. Hammers the shot. Big time stop. Skinner's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Moves it to Bouchard. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. More than half the period has expired. The Coyotes are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Puck 
Marcus Croft, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Loses his balance on the play. Unloads one. Gets a glove on it to make the save. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Nurse. What a block as he lays out. I'm sure he'll feel that one. Nice zone entry from the left. There's a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Skinner. David's won the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Hyman. They've got numbers to his teammate. Here's a chance. Couldn't complete the pass. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Kulak. Edmonton's on the attack. Quick feed to Broberg. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Here's a short pass to Zucker. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Skinner. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Arizona's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, you're doing a great job of taking away passes. Slides the puck across to Gunther. Solid check to slow him down. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Slides it to Prober. Change up, change up. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Arizona's game possession. Battle along the boards. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Arizona's got the puck along the wall. They dump it in and will change personnel here. The Oilers grab possession to the puck. And now he moves it quickly to McLeod. Just a great defensive read there. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And the players whistle dead. Here's the call. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're shorthanded. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Guys, we know this power play has struggled finding their identity, but practice makes perfect here, and we know they've been working hard on this. It's the first power play of the game. Let's see if the efforts will pay off here. Playing big in the moment there. Rips it from the blue line. Denies him again. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. To the other point. Trying to get it in. Oh, what a save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. They'll be looking to keep that momentum going here in the face-off. After that last shift, James, where they really press, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. And it's a quick pass to McKelly. Blocked in traffic. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Skinner. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Look at the pass. It could have got going now. Trying to get it out. Oh, they can't get it out. They're still Siege here. Across to Ryan. Tries to get it out of their own end. And they succeed in clearing and finally get a breather from their own end. There's the whistle. We've got it offside. Gagne is recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Arizona's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Grabbed along the board by Trout. And just got a piece of it to keep it out.
Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Coyotes have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Skinner's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Gagne is ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Gets it out of his own end. Quick pass to Nurse. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Sends it to the middle. Can't connect on the play. The Oilers gain possession of the defensive zone. Pucks then down the ice. The Coyotes ready to go on the attack. Skinner's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Nugent Hopkins and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Off the draw, they take possession. Now he slides it up to Brown. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Oh, and an even, even save on the slapper. Late goings of this period. We've got a 2-1 game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Arizona's got a hold of it along the wall. Stops him again. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Arizona's got a hold of the puck now. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Center and feed. Takes a blast. They've really got him on their heels here now. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Taken along the wall by Broberg. And he takes the dish. McDavid's going to play it against the high It's in. He scores. And that brings it to 20. He knows that's number 20, James. And that signifies a solid season. He's been consistent. He's found the back in the net. He's been a real producer for this club. Well, this one might make the highlight reels, James. I mean, he's working at incredible speeds. He's moving side to side, picking off his opponent. But I love the way he still has awareness, cognitive ability to see where everyone else is on the ice, and he delivers a beauty pass to finish it off. Edmonton's won the draw in the neutral zone. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Here's a shot! Long jam in front, that's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Bouchard. Feed. And he'll hang on to the puck for a much-needed whistle. Well, and this is huge, James. The ability to slow the game down, get a line change. There's no one happier than the coach right now. Setters glide into the dot as a face-off for the resume play. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Well, that brings an end to period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time.
the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Quick pass over to Dreisaitl. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Pushes it across to Nugent Hopkins. He carries the puck up along the wing. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. Slides the puck over. Here's a short pass to Dumba. Arizona's got it in their own zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Coyotes have possession shorthanded. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Looking to get it out. And that stays in after trying to play it off the glass. Yeah, and it's tough when you're on the PK, James, and everything around the sequence is good, and then all of a sudden you get the puck on your stick. That's exactly what you work for, and you fail to get it out. That can't happen. Boyd's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Edmonton's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Great reach with the poke check by Boyd. Oh, what a save! Oh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. I always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As look at this last save. This looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Yaya is at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw the man advantage. Arizona's got the win off that draw. Puck clear from the defensive end. Drops the hammer. Edmonton's in transition. Moves it to Fogel. Sends the pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Oh, they do it again. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age, them working on all... Oh, gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they gotta push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Arizona's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. All right, guys, this is the second opportunity for this power play unit of the game, and we know they're ranked toward the bottom of the league right now. All they have to do is trust the process, do what they've been practicing during their off days, and hopefully capitalize on this opportunity here. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And he comes up with a stop there. The Coyotes move to the offensive zone. Puck grabbed by Nurse. And they send it down the ice. From the point, they take control of it. Here's a chance. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Jersey's got it in the defensive end. Handles the pass. Oh, and he puts it into his own net. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly.
The Coyotes have evened things up here in period number two. We got ourselves a new game. Yeah, you love these games that go back and forth, and they've worked hard to get to this point, and now they got the equalizer. Giddy up. Puck moved over to Dreisaitl. Quick pass to Hyman. Clinging to this 4-3 lead. 
The Oilers win the faceoff. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. Oh, what a chance, and that goes on target. Picked up along the wall by Hyman. Here's a short pass to McDavid. And that's blocked in traffic. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. And they'll skate it out of the zone. And that's knocked away by Echo. Pass across to CeCe. Feeds it to Hyman. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the blocker by Pavelka. And he slides it quickly to Schmaltz. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. Handles the puck. Takes a shot. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. The Oilers have it now. Scooped up along the wall by Stetcher. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Edmonton's got the puck. Quick feed to Nugent Hopkins. Huge steal in his own end. From the left side, they gain the zone. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Edmonton's got it against the boards. Quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. He scores! Well, he the ice cream cake with a snipe on your birthday. Yeah, we didn't see that for me, but I certainly know that if my grandparents were in the building, it would have been 10 bucks when I was a kid. The way players train in the stick technology are a reason why a shot like this gets off so quickly. James, absolutely incredible speed the amount of time to get it off the stick. That's the real deal breaker. The Oilers have extended their lead to two here in the second, and I mean, at this rate, they're probably due for more, Cheryl. They've been dancing out there, James, and they've been manipulating their opponent all over the ice, and they've had a handle on the possession, and they've been getting a lot of opportunities, and it's a reason why they're up by a few goals. Slides the puck down low. Moves it quickly over to Kelly. He says, let's get physical on that play. And the puck's knocked loose. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. How did he stop that one? The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Here in the back half of this period, Edmonton's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Hayden's won a big draw on their own end. Dumba's got the puck in his own zone. Now a quick pass to Hayden. And he slides it quickly to Falamaki. The Coyotes move it in. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Run, he ties up his opponent. The Coyotes have it in the offensive zone. Arizona's looking to break out. Quick feed to Boyd. Oh, how did he stop that with the one-timer? Uh-uh. Nice block. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position. James, I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. Arizona suddenly made this a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of one way to go. Puck scooped up by Broberg. And now it's over to Yanmark. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Great poke check on the reach. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Tries to feed it over to Gagne. Scrum ensues along the boards. And they come up with possession off that battle. There's a chance in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there!
Arizona's trailing at the midway mark of this one, but it's not for a lack of scoring chances. All sorts of shots, just no finish. Gagne's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Wax it into the offensive zone. Slides the pass over to Gunther. Takes the feed. Moves it to Gunther. Bumped off the puck. Snaps it onto the net. Comes up with a monster save in front. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. He scores! Jason Sutter! I like the effort and intangibles to their game tonight, James. I mean, it has been an uphill battle as they found themselves down in this game. They continue to battle to chip away. They were urgent on the puck, and now they find themselves getting the equalizer. Arizona's push in the offensive end gets them the equalizer they needed. Yeah, and with impeccable timing, too, James. Yeah, at the end of the period, you always know you want to maintain your composure, but you also want to create a ton of energy. You don't want to be scored on, but you certainly want to score a goal. They did just that. They got themselves back at evens in this game. The Coyotes carry it along the wall. There's a stop with the blocker by Skinner. Here's a short pass to Eckholm. Arizona's got the puck in their own end. And he takes the pass. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Grabbed along the boards by McDavid. Takes the pass. Quick pass to McDavid. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Line chain. Dumps it into the Ozone. Feeds the puck across to Dreisaitl. Handles the pass on the right side. What a steal in his own end. Keller's crossed the line and gained the zone. Moves it quickly over to Dumba. Here he is in close. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat him away. Quick feed to Falamaki. Unable to reach that one. Moves it to Dumba. Taken along the wall by Kane. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. With some open space at center. Here's a shot and makes the save. of this period. We got a tie game. Edmonton's won the faceoff. Oh, a true warrior to block that. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Steps inside. Here's a chance. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Stetcher's moving the puck through his own zone. Looking to make something happen at center. Here's a short pass to Boyd. Oh, and there's a great save by Skinner. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Puck dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards. The Oilers played along the boards. Oh, stick save and a few. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. Great read in the offensive zone by Ryan. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Here we go, we're in the final frame here in this one and it is still up for grabs. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, can't finish. Well, he can't finish, but a great opportunity right there. Gets his stick on it as he's crashing the net. 
The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. He's got a step, makes a save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle, and the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. And he's ridden off the puck. Oh, he completely lost the shot. Possession here in their own end. Slides it across to Zucker. Quick shot! Misses wide of the net. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Takes it into the slot! Scores! They tied it up, and we are back to even! Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Nugent Hopkins wins it in the neutral zone. CeCe's got it against the boards. Oh, and he misfires on that. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Gunther. Good hit to bump him off the puck. And he takes the feed. And he takes the feed. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. Brown's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. The Coyotes are going to serve two for tripping here. control the puck. They clear the zone. And the puck's kicked free. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Moves it quickly over to Hyman. And now he moves it quickly to Nurse. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Jersey's stick handling in his own zone. Oh, and he whiffs. Trying to clear. Gets it out of his own end. Poked away at center by Janmark. Picked up along the wall by Jersey. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Sends it out in front. Picked off in front. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. McDavid's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Arizona's won the face off deep in their own end. Great reach by McDavid. Oh, great reflex pad stop by Vanilka. Moves behind the net. Hammers it from the point. Scores! The go-ahead goal on the power play. And especially the teams are critical, and this is exactly why you have the opportunity to change the momentum in the game, and you do it with an executed power play. There it is, and he's leading his team in goals for a reason, James. He's got a real knack for the net, and uncanny ability to disguise his 
shot. Edmonton's got the lead here in period number three. So Cheryl, do you protect or do you keep on pushing now? I think there's a fine balance here. I mean, you don't just want to play to hold on. You want to attack for the win, James, but you got to recognize where you are on the ice and you got to trust who you put out there. Sends the pass in front. Only comes up with a stop. Slides it diagonally to Zucker. He's got two goals already. Pucks on his stick. He's hunting his third. And he keeps that one out. Skinner's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been outstanding all game, James. He's the reason why his team is leading in this one and elects with a good decision to get the face off. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Moves the puck. Dreisaitl's been quiet tonight and hasn't contributed offensively, and this is a problem for his team who relies on their star sniper. But this game's still close. He's got to find a way to get his game and get back on track. Shot! Stones him in front. Slides it across to Hyman. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Taken by Hyman. Comes up with the stop. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. The Oilers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Gives them nothing in front. Sends the pass over. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Quick feed to Nurse. A little back and forth. Fires it! Stopped by the goaltender. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Schmaltz plays it now. Moves it to Keller. Shot! Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Kane's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, simply penalty. There's the official call. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. They scored earlier on the power play, James, and it was simple, but it was effective. Why? Because they know the personnel, they know the strengths of their team, and guess what? It's all on the blue line and the way they shoot the puck. And it is hard and it is heavy, but it's about getting the screen in front. Whether it's a flash screen, whether it's a double stack, doesn't matter. They just got to get there and take away the eyes of the goaltender. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Fires it on net. Oh, a clutch save. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Intercepted at center by O'Brien. A feed out front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Scooped up along the wall by O'Brien. Here's a feed in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Nugent Hopkins moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. Shot! Oh, big time block of Scores! And that one going off the defender for an old goal. James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. Centers fly towards the dot here as we got a face off set to go. The Oilers win it. Puck picked up by Echo. Great use of the stick at center by Michelli. The Coyotes take possession here in the open ice. Puts it on net, and that's blocked. Edmonton's got the puck. Sends it quickly to Dreisaitl. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. 
The Coyotes are on the attack. Quick pass to Stetcher. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Gagne's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Dermott. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal calls. Denies him in close. And this is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot. And makes the save. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Puck sent over to Eckholm. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Quick feed to Fogel. Oh, what a save by Pavelka! Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey, putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Cuts into the point! Shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be close to pond quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. The Oilers are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. They score! It's a magic number. He's doing everything he can to take the crowd out of this one as he's with the away team, but he's been dominated, playing really confident all night long. Arizona's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. The two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. Teed up and turned away on his part. And another save. What a great job of trapping the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Jersey's lugging the puck. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Coyotes take it along the wall. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a shot, and that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Oh, how do you miss from there? Well, this is a tough miss, James. I think he might have rushed it or even panicked a little bit. Typically, he's going to put this shot on target, but instead, he misses. Face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James. So the best medicine right now for them is to find a way to put the puck to the net. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. On the left side, he moves it up ahead. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Feeds the puck over to Kulak. Works it across to Ryan. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Coyotes gain possession along the wall. The Oilers get a hold of the puck. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Here comes the call. Three penalties in one period. You gotta stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your key players are getting out of there. openings. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Away. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. The Oilers 
is ready to go on the attack. Here's a shot. here one less forward to deal with as we have some four on four hockey on tap Nugent Hopkins wins possession in the defensive zone on a four on four you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate you have to be able to support the puck carrier and if you're a defender you know you're jumping into a lane going north take possession in the defensive end. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Denies him! Quick shot, and that doesn't reach the net. The Coyotes now have a short power play after the penalty expired. Broken up by Nurse. Sends it to the middle, and scores! What an opportunity and delivers! Uh, the goaltender has no chance on this one as his teammate just makes a gift of a pass right into his wheelhouse and he just powders it by. Arizona's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James? No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. Centering pass! Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Here's a centering pass! And that goes off a stick. Grabbed along the boards by CeCe. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Eckholm. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off. Let's he can get off. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? McDavid's a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight for the offensive side of the game. I've been impressed with his performance. Quick pass to Stetcher. Arizona's moving it into the offensive end. Off a stick and they can't connect. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. 
They've got the extra attacker out there, and Cheryl, you know what this means. Well, you have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. And now it's to Hyman. And that's off a stick. Taken along the wall by Hyman. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. A shot into the... And into the wide open cage. It's an empty net goal. Uh, and a sigh of relief as well as it's a real insurance mark. Uh, you, you put it in the empty cage and you don't ice it, that's a good thing. How'd you like to play with him, hey, James? I know that my stat certainly would have elevated. I mean, it's his crisp tape to tape passing. When it lands on your stick, you can almost feather it in. He's unbelievable. Edmonton's all but got this thing wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. The Oilers get a hold of the draw. Dishes it to Hyman. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. Still has possession. Salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. They're giving us the go-home cue, so we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time here on Ace Sports.